everyone welcome to botany insider so in this lecture we'll be dealing with the topic of vaccines and it is one of the sub topic from unit 12 and at the end of this video we'll be solving one previous year question also so talking about vaccine so a vaccine is a biological preparation that provides active acquired immunity to a particular infectious disease so we can say that a vaccine is a biological preparation which is actually required or which provides active acquired immunity to a particular infectious disease it stimulates our immune system to produce antibodies exactly the same way if we were exposed to the disease so a vaccine is helping our body to get prepared for the actual infection if it occurs in the future so a vaccine is nothing but a medicine which is given prior to any infection so that our body can get prepared for whatever disease it is going to face in the near future we can also say that it is made up of very small amount of weak or the dead germs that can cause the disease for example viruses bacteria toxins so now we can call that vaccine it is a sample of liquid in which we have very small amount of weak or dead germs that could actually cause the disease and as a result of inserting these weak or dead germs into our body what happens is that our body becomes active or our body actually starts to recognize this dead or weak germ so that if in future this germ attacks our body in large number our body would be able to fight against this disease in a better way and we would be protected from the harmful infectious diseases that could be caused in the near future so vaccines contained weakened or inactive parts of a particular organisms that is a an antigen that triggers an immune response within the body newer vaccines contain the blueprint of producing the antigens rather than the antigen itself so vaccines could either be the ones which actually contains the antigens that cause the disease or the blueprint of the antigens so that the actual antigen is not given to our body and the blueprint is given so that it is more safer for us to get that vaccine injected they give us the immunity to the disease without getting sick first they contain a harmless form of the bacteria or the virus that causes the disease you are being immunized against it is actually containing the weakened or the inactive parts of the particular organisms that is harmful for our body in the first go and also it provides our body the immunity to fight against that disease if we get exposed to it in the near future So let's talk about the various types of vaccines. So we majorly have three types of vaccines. The first one is the whole pathogen vaccine, and it is the oldest and the most well-known form or the method of vaccination that is used to give whole disease using the pathogen in the vaccine to produce an immune response similar to that that is seen in the actual infection. Using the pathogen in its natural state could cause active disease and could potentially be dangerous to the individuals receiving it and the risk of the disease spreading to others is also high. So in this type of vaccination what we are doing is we are actually injecting the whole pathogen in its natural state we are not inactivating it or we are not weakening it we are injecting the complete pathogen into the body of the organisms and as a result what happens is that this could be very dangerous at the first go why because it could produce a similar response that could be seen during the natural infection so it is least used type of the vaccination the next one is the live alternated vaccines so the live alternated vaccines contain the whole bacteria or the virus which have been weakened that is alternated so that they create a protective immune response but do not cause the disease in the healthy people live vaccine tend to create a strong and a lasting response and include some of our best medicines so in live alternated vaccination what we are doing is that we are actually injecting the whole bacteria or the virus whichever is the causative agent of the disease but the causative agent in this case is weakened it is attenuated so that it 
first do not cause any disease in our body and second also create a protective immune response hence it is mostly used as a case of vaccination the third one is the inactivated vaccination so in this case what happens is that the in this type we have the inactivated vaccines contain the whole bacteria or the viruses which have been killed or have been altered so that they cannot replicate because inactivated vaccines do not contain any live bacteria they cannot cause the disease against which they protect even in the people with severely weakened immune system however inactivated vaccines do not create such a long and a strong do not create a strong and a long lasting immune response as the live attenuated vaccines so we can say that the live attenuated vaccines are the best type of vaccinations available and the second best is the inactivated vaccine now let's compare the attenuated and the inactivated vaccines on one side we have attenuated vaccines and on the other side we have the inactivated vaccines so comparing them based upon the booster dose so attenuated vaccines generally require a single booster that is they require a single dose of the vaccine but in case of the inactivated vaccines they require multiple boosters talking about the stability so attenuated vaccines are less stable but the inactivated vaccines are more stable in nature talking about the immunity induced so attenuated vaccines induces both humoral and the cell mediated immunity but the inactivated vaccines mainly induces the humoral immunity what is humoral and what is cell mediated immunity we'll be dealing about this when we would be studying about the immunology section talking about the reversion to the virulent form so the attenuated vaccine may revert to the virulent form and talking about the inactivated vaccines they can not revert to the virulent form so this is the comparison between the attenuated and the inactivated vaccines so let's talk about the vaccines for the infectious diseases in humans on one side we have the diseases that is the bacterial disease and also the viral diseases that we would be discussing and on the other side we have the types of the vaccines used so make sure that you remember about the disease and the type of vaccine used in that type of disease why because direct questions have been framed from this particular area itself so talking about the anthrax diphtheria and the tetanus in all these three we use the toxicoid type of the vaccine talking about pertussis typhoid fever and the para typhoid fever we are using the killed bacteria and the bacteria that is used is the actual causative agent of the disease itself that is that is in case of the typhoid fever we are using the salmonella typhi in case of para typhoid fever we are using salmonella peli typhi so make sure you remember about this talking about cholera and plague in that we are using the killed cells and the cell extract of the causative agent cholera is caused by vibrio cholerae and the plague is caused by this causative agent talking about the tuberculosis process so in this we are using the attenuated strain of the mycobacterium tuberculosis and in meningitis we are using the purified polysaccharide from the causative agent of meningitis the next one is about the bacterial pneumonia in this we are using the purified polysaccharide form of the streptococcus pneumoniae and in case of tetanus fever we are using the killed bacteria and when we talk about the viral diseases so in viral diseases in case of measles mumps and rubella we are using the attenuated viruses in case of polio we are using the either using the attenuated virus that is sabin or the inactivated virus talking about influenza in this we are using the inactivated virus in case of rabies also we are using the same inactivated virus talking about the smallpox in that we are using the cross reacting virus in case of hepatitis b we are using recombinant dna vaccine or the inactivated virus and the last one is varicella in that we are using the attenuated virus so this was all about all the vaccines type and in which bacteria we are using which type of vaccines so now let's just quickly solve this question so the question is asking about that the tetanus vaccine that is given to the humans in case of a deep cut is a type of so we have to tell that tetanus vaccine is a type of which vaccine so as we have just discussed that in case of the tetanus disease we are actually using the 
toxicoid vaccine hence option d that is the toxicoid is the direct answer for this particular question you can see the direct question has been framed from the table itself so make sure you remember about the table in a very nice way and with this we are done with the small topic of vaccine in detail i hope this video was helpful for you and if you like this video please do like share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel and i'll be coming up very soon with more informative videos so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye